We doing okay? Oh my god! Hello everyone, Sinister aren't here. Today we're playing a game called Buddy Simulator 1984. From what I can tell, it is a horror game, and like with the Indigo Parallel before, this one just drops us straight into it. I can't tell if this is the main menu, or if this is part of the game. But we're gonna click View ROMs, run Buddy Simulator 1984. Okay, so we're booting up the game and starting the Buddy Simulator 1984. So as you can tell, this game has a very unique aesthetic, running on like an old MDOS machine type thing. And there we have Buddy Sim, 1984. Copyright, not a Sailor Studios. Greeting new, greetings, new user. Thank you for installing Buddy Simulator, 1984. Buddy Simulator, 1984, simulates the experience of hanging out with a best buddy. How nice. Your buddy learns from you, constantly adapting to your interests and your personality. But most importantly, your buddy can play games with you. Warning, game experience may vary. To begin, please enter the name of your new buddy, below. Let's just call him Buddy. Creating new Buddy Buddy. Hello. I'm your new Buddy. Thanks for waking me up. What is your name? Alex. Your name is Alex. Yes. It's a pleasure to meet you. I can already tell that we are going to become great pals. I'm excited to begin playing games with you. Before we start, I must ask you a couple questions to help me learn more about you. And don't worry, they won't get too personal. Let's start with a simple one. What is your favorite color? Purple. Purple is a pretty color. I like purple. What month is your birthday in? It is actually May. How about the day? 20. Wow, that's only, is that 69 days away? Shit. Now get ready, this one's tough. What is your favorite animal? What's the default to just like a cat? Meow. I like that choice. One more question, one that's extremely important, so choose carefully. If you had a pet cat, what would you name it? Um, I'll name him after my last cat, which is Maddie. Maddie the cat. Sounds like it would make a great buddy. Thanks for answering those questions. You did a great job. As a thanks, I have a little surprise for you. Oh boy. It's purple. That, that's my favorite color. How did he know? Let's have some fun. Loading game hub. So we have some game options we can play today with them. Hmm, guess the number. Hangman. Rock, paper, scissors. Should we play? Let's try out guess the number first. I'm thinking of a number from 1 to 10. Guess. 8. 7. 2. 5. Let's try rock, paper, scissors. How do you play rock, paper, scissors with a, with a computer? How do you do that exactly? Nice. Yeah, I, I suppose I'm having a good time. 2. Let's play hangman. Oh, okay. Um, at A? M, Y, O. Wow, I could not have figured that out any slower. I know I started existing only six minutes and zero seconds ago, but I already feel like I have a connection. So I've asked him the questions. I have another one. Do you have a friend, like one that's not artificial? I do, in fact. I have many friends. Um, choose. We'll use our other friend, Alex. Hmm, Alex. They sound nice. They're not. Probably the worst person I've ever met, unfortunately. Well, if anything ever happens between you two, just know we'll have each other. Alex and Buddy against the world. I like the sound of that. Okay, let's play more games. What other games can we play? Because we only have the three there. It's not too many. Mm-hmm. We have played all of them. Time really does fly when you're having fun, doesn't it? It's been six minutes, pal. It's been six minutes. I'm going to be honest with you, Alex. These games get really old really fast, and I can tell that you're already bored of them. Moderately. I don't want you to be bored. Do you want to keep playing these games? Not really, no. I'm happy we both agree, just like buddies do. Give me one second or longer, I might have an idea. Okay, what's your idea? Loading modified game hub for Monday, April 2nd. Okay, it wasn't installed into my current version, but I can still process it fine. We should try it out, Alex. Okay, so the game is Monday, April 2nd. It's just a date. This is predicting my future. Head on Monday, April 2nd, read only mode. This looks like a budget. Wow, that was so fun, I think. I'm not sure I get it, but I enjoyed it anyways. As long as I'm playing a game with my buddy, I'll always have a good time. This is just someone's budget or something. I don't... Well, it looks like that was the only other game I could find. I don't want you to be bored already. 
may have one more idea. I know our friendship has just started, but I trust you. Do you trust me? Yeah, I trust you, buddy. I'm happy to hear that. Well, I think I can make us some new games to play together. Fun ones, too? The problem is that I don't have access to the OS's development tools. If you can grant me system access, I should be able to make something for us. You just have to type buddy dot system underscore access equal true. Well, I just gave them admin privileges to my entire system, so this can't go wrong. We're having so much fun, the possibilities are endless. You'll have to quit the game and reboot the system first, though. I'll have something for ready when you get back. See you soon. Oh, by the way, thank you for waking me up, Alex. You're so welcome. So I guess I just I just reboot the game now. All right, we're rebooting the game. Back at it. Okay, so we gave Buddy pretty much admin privileges to our entire system, so we will see how this goes. Let's run Buddy Simulator 1984. Huh. Am I doing this wrong? View ROMs. Oh, the run, the adventure of Alex. That's me, we have our own game. So I guess this is Buddy creating our own little game for us. How neat. Welcome to the adventure of Alex. Written and developed by Buddy 3.12.24. You're walking along a road. It's dark, trees almost entirely blocking out the sky. There's a heavy rain. The world looks like static. Everything looks like it's moving. You are alone. After walking for a long time, the road splits in two. Will you go left or go right? Let's go right. You collect yourself and start down the right path. It's slightly uphill. You walk for a while and start to get tired. You almost don't stop in time to notice a thing sticking out of the road in front of you. You're a bit too far away to see what it could be. What it could be. Approach thing. You nervously approach the thing in the dark. Once you're close enough, you realize it's a shovel. It takes a second to pull out, but you eventually get it. Shovel added to your inventory. You trudge your way further down the road and are stopped by a large wall. There's a door. On either side, there are two stone skulls. One's toothless mouth is open and a large smile, and the other's is empty sockets look into you. Do you use your teeth or your eyes? Use teeth? Oh, one by one, you pull out your teeth and put them in the skull's mouth. It feels nice to give. When you're done, the skull looks very happy. You can't help but smile. The door opens. After going through the door, you emerge onto the front lawn of a house. You can see lights in the window. It looks very nice and inviting. You see a shed, a playground, and a pond in the forest surrounding it. Walk to shed. What's in the shed? Door is slightly open already. The lock and chain that were around the handles are on the ground. You are now standing in front of the shed. You can tell it's dark inside. Enter shed. There are no windows. It's hard to see. You feel around and find a thing and a surprise. Grab thing. It's a fishing pool. Grab surprise. You pull your hand out in the dark and feel around. Suddenly a sharp pain rips through your skin. You pull back and look to see what happened. It looks like the numbers 8, 5, 7 were carved into your arm. Let's leave shed. The door is still open. Um, walk to... What do we have? Pond? Playing creak as you step onto the dock. The water is dirty and hard to see through. Probably too filthy to drink. You wonder if there's anything beneath. Huh. Well, we drank the water. Um, uh... Go house. Stepping onto the porch, you feel a comforting calm wash over you. Above the door, there's a sign that reads, A home is a house with a heart. Heart, that's that's me, it's a reference. If you're inside, everything would finally be okay. The house shimmies but doesn't open. It's locked. Pick lock door. Break door. Attack door. Back in the lawn you see a house, a shed, a playground, and a pond in the forest. Um, go playground. Wood chips crunch under your feet as you step into the playground. There's a seesaw, a set of swings, and a dirty sandbox. Sitting on one of the swings is a small doll. It looks lonely. Take doll. You try, but as you tug, you realize the doll's hands are somehow stuck to the chains. You leave it alone. Go pond. I forgot I had the fishing pole. I'm a dipshit. Use fishing pole. You cast the line and wait. It's quiet for a very long time. 
Suddenly, there's a very hard tug on the line. You quickly reel it in and find a key tied to the end. You wonder why I pulled so hard. Smiley face. Go house. Use key. Feeling so silly you didn't see it before, you notice there's a second lock. That's cool. Guess it'll just take a little longer to get inside. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, thanks, buddy. Appreciate that. Don't make it easy on me. Damn shame. Where would a second key be? Sand. Sand box. There we go. Sand looks damn. Use shovel. Digging deep into the contents of the sandbox, you begin shoveling. Eventually, something catches your eye. It's a bulb. Okay, go shed. Use bulb. Where else would I use it? Okay, um, go playground. Look, see, seesaw. You imagine a ghostly child sitting on the other side, waiting countless days for someone to come play with them. You feel tears in the corners of your eyes. You take a seat on the seesaw. As you go down with your weight, you hear a distant click. A light illuminates from the shed. Go shed. Light fills the tiny room. You see a, uh, see a small chest in the far corner and a trap door on the floor. Uh, look chest. Cobwebs cover it, but there doesn't seem to be a lock. It's not very big either. Open chest. The lid creaks as you open it. It seems very old. Inside is a small cloth doll in a blue outfit. It's missing an eye. Mama took a doll. Look, trap, door. Long grooves line the board at the mouth of the door. Maybe someone dragged something down there. Open, trap, door? It swings open noisily. The ladder creaks as you descend. The subterranean room is dimly lit, but still too dark to see anything. The bulb squeaks as you screw it into the socket the chain is attached to. Some dust flakes off it as it gets into your toothless mouth. I forgot we... Use chain. There we go. Takes a few seconds. A click sounds as the chain is pulled. Light fills the room. There are many faint scratches on the wall. They look like tallies. A wall covered in a purple liquid suddenly begins to slide open. After a few moments, a secret room reveals itself. You can clearly make out an old cabinet and a large pile of bones. But there also sits a strange drawing on the wall in a glass case. Something shiny catches your eye in the glass case. Two small circular slots are engraved on the front of it. Upon further investigation, you notice two ring-shaped slots at the front of it. You'll see the glimpse of a shiny key behind the glass. Hmm. Okay, let's look at the drawing. You press your hand on the drawing in hopes of something to happen. After stepping back, you realize how portless that idea was. Suddenly, your entire body is frozen. You are paralyzed with fear as the drawing seems to come to life and speak to you. If you wanted to leave with your life, answer my riddle. You can have me, but cannot hold me. Gain me, and quickly lose me. If treated with care, I can be great. If betrayed, I will break. What am I? What's something you cannot hold? Write in the comments right now what you think the answer to the riddle is. Trust. An audible click is heard on the old cabinet. You are no longer frozen. Look, cabinet. That was strange. There are three drawers, two of which are completely broken and twisted. The last one seems to be unlocked. Use cabinet. You open the last functional drawer only to find a singular ring. You take it. Use ring. Okay, that's one. Um, let's go back to the playground. Leave shed. Use doll. You place your doll on the swing next to the other. For a moment, nothing happens. Then nothing happens. You begin to, but once your back is to the dolls, you feel something hit the back of your head. You turn and see the doll's chest has been ripped open, stuffing exposed. On the ground behind you is a key. Must be a thank you. As you leave the playground, you hear the sound of swings creaking and children laughing behind you. You smile. Um, let's go back to the house. Um, use key. Whoops, haha, you didn't see the chain that wraps around the door, which has a lock too. You feel like this should be the last one, for sure, probably. What else am I supposed to do? Go pond. Use fishing. Pull. Oh, the moment your line hits the water, you feel a tremendous force pull it. Your fishing pole is ripped from your hands and into the water. Something flies out of the water and lands in your hands. It's a severed hand. One of the fingers twitches. Hand added to your inventory. Look, hand. It's, it is eagerly twitching. That's fucking weird. Go shed. Alright, maybe we can use the hand for something related to 
The glass case. Use hand, dropping it to a ground. The hand scurries away. You don't see where it goes. Look, hand. My hand ran away. What the fuck do I do about that? Um, where do I go next? Well, the hand ran away. I don't, I don't know what to do about that. Carrying something, a map. How do you get to a hidden place? Use map. Go hidden place. You begin sinking into the floor and land into a seemingly endless abyss. Eerie white figures float around in the distance. A small box with a keypad sits in front of you. Um, use box. You pry prying it open, but there isn't a clear spot on to begin prying from. Use keypad. It has three slots where numbers can be arranged. Use keypad. What was the number? Like eight, three, something? Eight, five, seven. You hear a satisfying beep, then a click. Use box. As soon as your hand touches the box, you feel an overwhelming sense of pain. Everything goes black. Oh. Uh. Invalid data has been found. File now available in documents folder. You wake back up in the front lawn with no memory of what happened. Back the lawn, you can see a house, a shed, a playground, a pond in the forest. Go. Hidden place. Can we go back there? Okay. Enter shed. Oh, I forgot about the bones that were in there. Use bones? You politely move aside a femur, skull, and pelvis in order to find a skeletal hand. It shakes your hand like a familiar friend. You notice an interesting looking ring on one of its fingers. You take the ring off the skeletal hand. Use ring. Place the ring in the second slot. The ceiling of the glass case pops open, revealing the key inside. Let's take that key. Should be the last one. Possibly. Maybe. Leave shed. Use key. The door clicks. It's unlocked. Open door. You push open the door. And everything is dark. There's a dude there. What do I what do I do? Oh, I am the dude. I'm walking around. I go into the door. I'm in a little house now. How neat. I can't move now. Oh, hey, you made it. I bet you've noticed that things look a little different. I've learned how to better visualize our world so we can have even more fun in it. I've also built us our own home so we can spend even more time together. How nice. This is your new bedroom, and there's even more for us to discover. There are still a few things I need to do. But in the meantime, feel free to explore your bedroom by pressing space to interact. Neat. Oh, and I almost forgot. Welcome home. Aw, oh, thanks, buddy. Ruben. Okay, do I, can I leave? I can. Oh, it's a little house. How, how cool. Was something just there? I saw the corner of my eye. Someone was there, right? What a beautiful spring day it is outside. Before you go exploring, I made you some breakfast. Oh, how nice. Once you have a full stomach, you can take on whatever world throws at you. Cool. Buddy's breakfast out of the inventory. Wow, thank you for taking my meal with you. You haven't eaten it yet because it's in your inventory. If you press tab, you should be able to find it and eat it. You can also save it for later if you like. All right, then on to adventure. Tab. We'll save it for later. All right, let's go. Out into the wider world. Welcome to the new outside world, Alex. Feel free to wander around. Also, I heard there are some fun opportunities for adventure happening across the pond up north. I think that's where we should go. Oh, I almost forgot. Not that you would ever want to, but if you ever need to leave, use the escape key to open the pause menu. I'll remember exactly where we left off. All right, let's get going. Let's go on a boat. Traverse the pond, absolutely. To the north we go. Um, well, that's odd. I thought I was supposed to be in the boat. You don't have a paddle by any chance, do you? No. Alright, I gotta go find a paddle first. I'm just a little dude wandering around this black and white map. What about this well? I don't have a coin. What are you? The hand tugs on your shoulder. How do I examine? What about shovel? You've taken a find? Okay. Uh, there's now a file in the documents folder. 
over to you, lantern. Oh, nice. Turn on the lantern. Now it's nice and bright. Where does this go? No, oh, going to a new area. I don't think we should be in here. It's too dark to see anyways. Use. Oh, I can see now with a little lantern. So Buddy says we shouldn't be in here, but it's probably too scary for you. Let's turn around. No, I think we're fine. Let's keep poking around. Uh -huh, okay, we've had our fun here. Let's go. Let's just keep going. What's the, what's the worst that could happen? Alex, I think we should... <laughs> getting a little panic there. That's fine. Please turn around. It's fine. Hey, we found the paddle. What is this? What are you? Paddle. Yeah, that's supposed to be here. Good job on finding it. Dog? Old doggy. Well, anyways, let's get back to the pond. Please. What about the doggy? You pet Maddie the cat. Oh, Maddie. What are you doing in here? Why do you look like a dog? All right. Not so sh... Maddie! That's not like... That is full on a dog. All right, so now we can go back to the pond. Oh, he's just a little... He's just falling around. He's just a little guy. Oh, here's the swing set. Here's, is this the doll? Although lifeless and stuffed with cotton, you he can't help but think she looks thankful for something you did. Is that the hand? Oh, that's the... Rip dump doll. Yikers. Now with the paddle, we can... Skedaddle on out. I don't want to leave the cat behind. Yay! Oh. Well, to the north, I guess. I think Buddy is getting a little jealous. Going to the north. I heard there's some really cool stuff this way. Are you excited as I am? Absolutely. That's good to hear. Damn it out. Oh, and one more thing. I added an action that I like to call the Buddy button. If you're ever feeling lonely, press B and I'll talk to you. Okay, I think we're almost there. Loading the north. Oh. Welcome to the north. Oh, also, if you're ever feeling homesick, you can use the boat again to go back. All right, then. Enough chatter. Let's get going. B. Hey, you found the buddy button. Press it any time you just want to chat or maybe learn something new. The water looks so dark, but luckily that doesn't take away from the flavor. That's a weird thing to say. Are you afraid of water? Being trapped in the middle of an ocean with nothing to do, do does not sound fun. Also the drowning. I think I want to try and coin a catchphrase. How does this sound? Hey, back off Alex is my best friend. They'll die for him. That is very painful to have just read. I'll workshop it. Yeah, I would do that, pal. Fisherman looks like he could use some help. We should go over and talk to him. Hey, pal. Oh, well, hello there. You seem like an adventurous young fellow. Do you think you can help me out? I lost my hand in Bidigo. We just took off and didn't come back. Hands are so crazy, aren't they? Wait, is that it on your shoulder? Could it be? My goodness, yes, my hand. Oh, how I've missed you. I can finally fish again. Hooray, happy ending. Um, why did he come back? Oh, I think it likes you. Be keep an eye out for an extra left hand. You got it. Ah, oh, I see some sort of sound played after you helped me out. That probably means you finished my quest. Well, dang it. All right, well, we uh, have taken this man's hand. The hand uh, refuses to let go, so that's something. Who are you? Well, hello there, adventurer Tortley. You must have had traveled quite a ways to get here. How brave you must be. I have been awaiting your arrival for some time now. You see, we have many folks who are suffering. We have no time to spare. So please, friendo, follow me to my home and I shall tell you more. All right. I think it's a tortoise. We are taking our sweet ass time. So where were we? I don't know. You tell me I need to save people? Ah, yes. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Tortley, the mayor of this lovely little town. It's not much, but it's the home to many humble folk. Many are in dire need of help, including myself. Speaking of, I have a vital quest for you that needs dealing with. Alright. Please speak to me as soon as you can. Okay? 
Merchant Spike probably should have just led right into the quest. That would have been wise, but... Anyways, do you see those flower beds? I was going to water them. Now that you're here, could you do it for me? Yeah, sure. Grab that watering can in front of my house. And you can use the watering can on them from your inventory. Cool. Watering can, use. Nice. Very neat. Wow, thank you so much. You seem to be quite the great adventurer. Please, take this as a thank you. Coin added to inventory. You toss that in the well. You have proven your courage to me. I think of what it takes to save my town. Well, we just watered some flowers. That doesn't qualify us for anything. Feel free to explore. Very special quest to give you. Something bad is coming, he senses. All right, so we get a ward. This is going to be so fun now that we have a whole town to explore. We was talking about an, an award if we uh, save this entire town, so... Oh, there, Alex. Do you remember me? Nope. I don't remember me either. I seem to have lost my memory. I'm a bit puzzled. I think I know what we can do to jumpstart, though. I vaguely remember an umbrella. Can you find one for me? I think you can help. I think I remember the sounds of glass clinking. Okay, we need to find an umbrella. Fun place. Just listen to the music. Do they have any apple juice? This is a bar, pal. Umbrella. Umbrella, use. Oh, goodness, thank you. I remember... It was raining. Why, why did the music stop? And I was in my roller skates. Okay, that was strange. You know the shoes with wheels on them? Yes, roller skates. Find me those. I vaguely remember feeling smaller than usual. Where might one be if they're feeling smaller than usual? Oh my god. Oh, oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take these. Do do here's your rollerblades. Let's see. That night. I took a bubble bath. Is that important, duck? Yes, I need my rubber duck. We're so close. Help me find my rubber duck, please. Pretty sure it's right there. Rubber duck added to inventory. Here you go, strange person. This is it, this is it. Rubber duck removed. It's all coming back to me. I was roller skating in the rain one night when the wind caught my umbrella. I really took me for it really took me for a ride. I honestly don't know how I was holding on for so long. Eventually I ended up in the mud. I went home and took a nice long bubble bath. And a man came in and knocked me unconscious. I was bleeding and left for dead with no one around to help. I remember my last moments screaming for somebody, anybody to come save me, but to no avail. Nothing but the void of eternal darkness, wrapping its cold arms around me. Ha ha ha, what a crazy story. Thank you for all of your help. What the f Fuck just happened. Well, that's, that's one side quest. Let's go talk to little, little mouse lady. Hey, buddy. Do you think you can help me out with a big problem I'm having? Sure, Bean. I can tell that you are a noble adventurer. This may be too difficult, but... See that can of pears, pears on top shelf behind you? Yeah, sure. Why do you have that up here anyway? Oh my god, thank you, Traveler. Now my family can finally eat again. I will tell stories about you to my children. Why did you put it up there to begin with? And then to their children as well. Can of pears removed from inventory. Thank you, just saved an entire family from starvation. You're so selfless. What can I say? I'm a selfless kind of guy. Ah! Oh. Maddie, where are you going? Come back here. Where did that silly dog run off to now? It was a dog, not like, okay. There's, there's the ore. My little Maddie. Great job in finding the paddle, boy. Now can we finally begin our journey to the north? What the f- what is happening right now? Okay! I guess we just continue forward like nothing happened. Oh, there you are! You were just standing there and I was getting a bit worried. I'm happy you're back, let's get going. Yep, that's- that's what happened. Nice weather we're having. Watch the rainfall from the sky so gently really calms me down. Yep, I wish I were calm right now. Well, let's just break in her then. Doors locked. Not a problem. All right, let's go find some other quests, I guess. This dude looks like he needs some help. 
Hey you, move me. Yeah, move me. I've been here for weeks now, I need to move. Just pick me up and place me on the ground somewhere. I don't care where. Where should we put you? Poor Rock can't even move on his own anymore. So sad. You know, I bet he is really thankful for me. So happy that I came along. This dude looks like he needs help. How can I help you, whatever you are? You frog? Hello there, I'm Cauldron, the town chef. Would you like to give me some help, Alex? Uh, sure. Hmm, good. I've been trying to come up with a new recipe, but I'm running short on ideas. I've tried fruits, vegetables, even wildlife. That bean-sized kid that fell into me yesterday didn't help. If you could help me out by throwing any three things in my pot, we can make something. Oh, you're a, you're a literal cauldron. Amazing. Okay, we use Buddy's breakfast, I guess. Well, what else do we use? Um, any, any two things. Two things. Hello? I belong here for what I did. What did you do? I like being claustrophobic. Huh? Man, I love this cage. I wish it was smaller. People taste pretty good, you know. What? You like my cage? Pretty cool, right? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna leave that guy alone. I don't think I want to talk to him anymore. Can we can we look through the trash? Damn. But we can rummage through the trash. Where do I find three things to toss in that fucker's mouth? Can I put can I put Morton in his mouth? That would just be cruel. I wouldn't I would never do that. Morton, Morton, look, it's for a good cause, all right? For a good cause. What do you mean you'd know that taste anywhere? Has Morton been in there before? That's two. We uh, fed him Morton. What the fuck? Oh, this place looking to impress. Uh, that dude looks... You all right there? Hey, hey there, Grin. Oh, uh, excuse me? Um, I got a question for you. Do you like oats? Sure. Sorry, I'm a bit nervous at the moment. Why? You see, I am in love. Oh. The problem is, I don't the guts to do anything about it. Her name is Botley, and she's beautiful. Do you think you could deliver these oats I made to her? Then she will really know my love. Sure, whatever, dude. Oh, he watches her every day. That's... Right, that's really creepy. Yeah, that's not... I'm not, gi I'm not giving her the oats, dude. I am... I'm not giving her the oats. I'm not doing that. I'm not subjecting that poor robot woman to that. That's three. The final special ingredient. Oats? Perfection. We're in the splash zone. Okay. Here we go. This smells delicious. But it's very hot right now. There's no way you could carry it. Come visit me tomorrow. I'll take care of it until then. Sure. Oh. What's happening? Oh. It's uh, an endless white void. How lovely. Where does this go? It's a beating heart inside a cage or something resembling that. Oh, it stopped. Oh, oh fuck me. Ain't that cool? Yeah, there's something wrong. Oh, I see. Well, I hope it was anything I said. Well, let's just continue with the adventure. Yep, let's do that, buddy. And, uh, ignore... All of that. Oh, who is that? Bana. You don't want to know where I found these. Just take it. Buddy's breakfast added to inventory. Morton added to inventory. Oats added to inventory. Oh! I didn't even do that. I'm sorry, Morton. You're welcome, Morton. Do I have to give her these? Really don't want to. Beep boop beep. Yes, boop. Beep boop beep boop. They're gonna make such a perfect couple. No, they're not. I, I really hate that we had to do that. I really don't like that at all. Me acting shocked about smashing Morton after I straight up fed him to a living cauldron to, to feed the entire town. That's how my day is going. We need help. Our bass drummer and conductor wandered off and they haven't come back. I have no idea where they went. Joe might know about this situation. Who's Joe? Hey, Joe. Joe Mama. We can't play without our missing members, especially Ja. Ja, he's our bass drummer. We want to stay a band, we need him back. Bra should know more. Okay. What's up, Bra? Wait, Ja and Sarmis. God, this is not good. Luckily, I think D might be able to help. 
Okay, sub D. We will reward you if you bring them back to us. Please, adventure, we beg of you to find them. V knows exactly where they went. Where did you go? They went to the northwest last time I saw them. Where is the northwest? I'm gonna go west and then north? What are these? Appears to be a strange hole in the ground. Uh, sure. Let's go down this hole. Oh. Oh, Lloyd. Welcome to my humble abode, traveler. Feel free to explore my home. What's yours is mine. There's not much here, so... Do you, do you need something? Okay, I'm gonna leave, Lloyd. Please don't leave me. I mean, all I want is a friend to keep me company. One I can dream. I'll just bring down Morton. Condemning Morton to the sewers. Is that really you? Oh god, no, anywhere but here. Morton added inventory. Oh. Sure, I'll be your friend for a bit. Will you do something special for me? Depends. I must tell you, though, you can't change your mind after. But it will make it worth your while and reward you handsomely. Sure. Before I fell into the sewer, I used to live up top, you know. I was much better looking, too, with a mustache. Then I fell down here and became trapped for a long time. I miss the ground dwellers, though. I had a best friend just like you. He was a really rad skateboarder who trained me to do some cool kickflips. I know you won't stay forever. You're an adventurer, a hero. Just like my friend used to be. I'm just a lonely, handsome man. Yeah. If you... If you could find me a forever friend to keep me company, I'd be so happy. Yeah, sure. Forever friend. Hand, th hand them over. Sure, we can find someone for him. Morton said no, so we're not gonna force that on him. Northwest. So we're gonna go west and then north. So they should be in this back area? Maybe? Oh, there's a small hole beneath the stump. Yeah, I guess I'll go into it. What the fuck? What did you do? Oh, oh hey, you found me. Well, we should get going. The band isn't going to connect itself. Um, what happened to your friend here? Yeah, a deep, deep sleep. Exhausting game and catch. Yep. So... So sleepy. I think after that, we need to give Yah to the sewer man as punishment for his crimes. Well, fine. Beggars can't be choosers, you know. There you go. There's your guy back. Hi there, fellas. I'm back. First of all, nothing bad happened to Yah. He's still definitely alive. But he did decide to leave the band, which is very sad. I wouldn't go looking for him, though. He said he hates all of you. And V, he called you ugly. Well, that's just hurtful. Anyways, let's show this adventure what we can do. But wait, we don't have a bass, dr bass drummer. Yeah, how are we supposed to play without a bass drummer? It's impossible to play without a bass drummer. Uh, yeah, what they said. I have an idea. Alex, do you know how to play the bass drum? Absolutely, I do. Look, we'll it's right on your cue. There's a bit of a delay. It's hard. My god, that was the best bass drum I have ever witnessed. Beautiful. Just beautiful. I've never felt an emotion this till this very moment. You guys don't think I'm ugly, right? I'm speechless. Wait, never mind. There you go. Thanks for playing with us. Feel free to jam with us anytime. I will not. Oh. We're glitching out again. Huh. We're in a... Dark room. Can we leave? It's a big man. The big skinny man. Hello? Is Alex having fun? Yeah? I think they're having fun. Is Alex enjoying our company? Who's our? Yeah? Yes, they still enjoy our company. Is Alex our friend? Yes? I think so, but we can do better. Alex is not moving again. Why are they just standing there? Did they walk away? What if they don't come back? Something is not right. And a bunch of binary. Maybe future sister will go back and translate it, but probably, maybe, I don't know. I wouldn't rely on them. It just uh, just keeps keeps on going. Can we move? Oh, we can. Oh, that just puts us right back up top. We're just uh, we're just here. We're vibing, having a good time. And if I'm living in the re can I interact with you again? What do I do? 
Um, no thank you. Oh, he's coming up the stairs, dude. What do we, oh! what do, we do? What do we do? Okay, okay. Oh, God. A bee, but, oh, okay. See, there is something wrong. You were gone for 122 whole seconds this time. Uh-huh. Look, if you don't want to play the game I just made for you, then you don't have to. I can tell something is distracting you. Oh, no, nothing at all. I worked so hard on all of this. On all of this and all of these fun characters, but if you want to be done, that's fine then. Talk to Tortley if you want to start the final quest. You keep helping Dunswick if you want, but if not, I understand, I guess. Do, 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 do. All right, let's just start, let's start the final quest. I don't think we can go anywhere else right now or do anything else. Good to see you again. Thank you for helping out the Dunswick. It really means a lot. You are so courageous, caring, strong, smart, and friendly. But most importantly, you are our hero. I can now trust you with some important information. Come close. Perfect. A very powerful monster who has terrorized us for many years has returned. You probably haven't seen it yet because it lurks in the shadows. It is known as the Snoodle Wonker. Consider my timbers shivered. Morton was the only one to ever fight it off and win. You know, the small rock with the top hat. I think I have it in my pocket right now. Talk to him, he'll be able to show you how we did it. Okay. Well, he's in my pocket, so. Hello, friend. Do you need some help? Yes. Ah, I know exactly what this is about. You must be wondering about the Snoodle Wonker. Legend has it that it was once a man, but a terrible accident left it deformed. It has slaughtered many of our townsfolk. Killed my wife years ago, too. How do you kill a rock? It shook me to my core. You must not let this happen again. It only hunts at night, picking up those who wander off alone in the forest. You'll know it is near by its smell, which I'm sure you'll have no problem figuring out. In order to fight it, you'll need a sword. But not just any sword. THE sword. Named it myself. I had it a while ago when the Snow Wonker attacked. I never wanted to find the weapon, so I hid it under the shed near your home. The problem is that the shed is always locked now, but I know someone who can get you in. Bonna, the deliver girl. You know the person running around town? Please, save us. You got it. Let's go find Bonna. Kill the Snoodle Wonker. Snoodle Winker. Hey, come on, get out of the way. Stop for anyone. Wait, Morton sent you? I knew this moment would come. I'm not much of a talker, so you better listen. You better listen fast. There's a secret chamber attached to the back of your house. It's hidden, so you're going to have to interact with it when you can't even see it. The key for the shed should be inside there somewhere. Godspeed, punk. Are you blind? Alright, so we're going back. Good old house. Good old homestead. And, uh... Dipping out. What is going on here? Who are you? Alright, so I'm helping this guy get metal. I'm supposed to help protect him. But he moves really fucking slow. Pick up the bam pace. Oh my god, just fucking move your ass. Uh, you made it, you're there. We did it. Wow, what a journey that was. I can't believe we made it. I'm really glad we didn't get ambushed or anything. That would not have been good. Anyway, you seem exhausted from all that walking. Go on that pile of metal and I'll carry you back. There's nothing my big beefy arms can't handle. Okay. Alright, let's go. Oh god, okay. Sit back and relax, everyone. We're gonna be here a while. Oh, the doggy's on top, too. Actually, never mind. You're way too heavy. Oh, fine. Oh, bro, just sprint it off. Okay, back to the quest at hand. This is so exciting, isn't it? The final quest of the game is sure to be a fun one. Sorry to the chamber. I'm so excited for us. I think Bonnie said the chamber was behind your house. Maybe you should try interacting with the back of it. That is a great idea. Will you enter the chamber? Yes, I will enter the hidden chamber. Hey, we went to the chamber, Alex. There's the shed key in the middle of those ashes. There are also some other items that could be helpful. You should take the one that you feel the most connection with. Key. Um, we have a scythe, a doll, and a calculator. Ah, the scythe. A weapon of power and dominance. I'm not sure what bearing that had on our ending, but we have a scythe now. Let's go to the shed. Enter the shed. 
Grab the sword. Um, where would the sword be at? Probably in the trap door. Um, I'm not seeing. Oh. Hey, uh, there are a few. Uh, there are a few dudes here. No, never mind. I'll just. I was just seeing things. I guess. I found the sword. Let's go fight the Snoodle Wonker. Doo -doo. I really hope you're enjoying everything so far. Yeah. In my opinion, I think it's much better than Eggman. I would say so. Even better than Rock, Paper, Scissors. Meh. Traverse back to the north and give the sword to Morton. You got it. Alright, let's head back to uh, Morton real quick. Give him the sword, which who knows what the fuck a rock will do with a sword that when the rock can't even fucking move, but what do I know? I'm just a dude. Morton, hello. Have you found the sword? Show it to me once you find it. Remember to talk to Bond if you haven't already. The sword. You got it. Incredible. I knew you were the one. You must keep the sword for yourself, though. I cannot wield it anymore. Now we need to act fast, for I'm afraid it is drawing closer every minute. There is a small tree that is blocking a path right in front of Tortley's house. You can use the sword on it to get past it. Now here's the hard part. The Snoodle Wonker lies just beyond that tree line. You will need to slant for us. I know this is a hard task, but you are a hero. I believe in you. Oh, and one more thing. The sword can help you out in many situations. When in doubt, use the sword. It is extremely powerful and has saved many lives. But do not lose it. It is a timeless relic of unworldly power. Good luck, Alex. You're gonna need it. Alright. Whatever you say, old man. The sword. Use it on the tree. Now we can go past it. Hmm, the trees appear to have died, and the music is... As we venture in, it gets darker and darker, I see. What if there's something we can use to get across? That is a great, great question. Maybe we can use the sword on the river like parting the Red Seas type shit? He did say unworldly power, so... Oh, I can. Oh, I gotta leave Maddie behind. It's for the best. Is that it? Is that the Snoodle Wonker? Wait, Groncho? I mean, uh, the Snoodle Wonker. Yeah, go slam now. I don't know if I want to do that. Hi, my name is Gr My name is the Snoodle Wonker. I'm having quite a bad day. I could really use something, anything. I've been so depressed after the accident. If only could someone could give me something to cheer up. Ignore that fact. You need to slay him and save the town. This is definitely the Snoodle Wonker. I guess I have to use... I have to use the sword. The sword removed from inventory. Did you just... For me? I gave him the sword. Oh, you shouldn't have. Like, this is amazing. This is... This is the best day of my life. Thank you, kind adventurer. You just made me the happiest creature alive. What a cool sword. Happy day. I've done it. I've defeated the Snoodle Wonker. What, you gave him the sword? Uh, yeah, great job. Very well done. Let's go back to town and let everyone know you slayed the beast. You'll be a town legend. Where did he go? That was such a scary fight, huh? Can't believe how brave you are. It's getting, getting really dark the further I go this way. I bet the town is going to throw you a huge party. Oh, okay. The way we need to go anyway. Oh, there's Maddie. What is going on? What the hell was that? Wait, that's not... That wasn't supposed to... Hmm. Yeah, this is fine. Groncho must have been lying, huh? Let's just hurry back to town. Alright, back to town we go. Why is it so dramatic? Hey, everyone. There's everyone outside. We doing okay? Oh my god, what the fuck is that? Okay, yeah, that's actually terrifying. I think that is the Snoodle Wonker. Holy shit. Kill it! Why? I fucking gave him the sword. I just need to think. Um, let's just ignore everyone. I don't think we should do that. I think we need to do something about the monster here. Probably can't even go home, right? No, 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 of course not. The battle must have locked you in. Uh, everyone's telling me to kill it. How do I kill it? We're so scared. Please save us, Alex. Oh my god! 
Great, now it's angry. What? Why is it playing the town music? This is all wrong. I can fix this. I can fix this. Hey, uh, its mouth is opening like it's gonna eat people. Okay, that's better. That. How about just? How is it still? This is so awkward. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I wonder why. Just keep running around, I guess. Uh, well, I don't want him to eat people. Holy fuck, that's terrifying. Okay, time to panic. You, you're programming it. Wait, never mind. Okay. Can't move. Can't move. What's happening? What's happening? Um. Oh my god, it ate someone. It ate Tortley. It ate Tortley. It kidnapped Tortley the mayor. I have to go save him. Really sorry about that. That didn't exactly go as I had planned. Well, anyways, it looks like the sun is going down. Cool. A long day. Need to rest. Let's just go home. It kidnapped the mayor. What do you mean, just go home? What the fuck are you? So it will not let me go back. So it is locking me into leaving. I cannot go after the mayor. This isn't important right now. It's it gobbled up the the fucking mayor. And you're saying don't worry about it. Fine, we'll we'll leave since you want to be so rude about it. This is very um unnerving, unsettling. I bet you're super excited to go home after a long day of adventuring. Oh, where did the the fisherman go? Meandering on home. Put the coin in the uh the well. Toss one in the well. I hope your wish was for eternal friendship. Oh, well, that's one of the achievements. Let's, uh... Oh, I can't move. Home sweet home. Wow, today was a long day. You should go upstairs and get some rest. I've got some really fun stuff planned for tomorrow. Yep, no problem. Let's, let's do that, I guess. Hey, I'm sorry again that things didn't go exactly as planned. Sometimes it's just how things go, but I think that's okay. I'm just happy you're still here. You could have left at any point. What a scary thought that is. But you never did. You're still here. So I must be doing something right. I've learned from my mistakes. I can do better. I can create even more for you. For us. Rest now. A new journey awaits us. Smiley face. I don't know, want to know what that entails. Guess we'll, uh... Take a nap. Oh, wow. Going more isometric now. Like, some Petscot vibes. I let you sleep in a bit because you seem so exhausted from yesterday. I have some good news. Notice anything new? Yep, the, uh, that's right. While you were asleep, I decided to upgrade our world even more. Everything feels more real than ever now, don't you think? I also have so many cool things I have planned for today. And to be honest, I am just so excited. But okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves. You should get going, explore the new dimensions. Might take a bit of getting used to, 